Indra and today in this video lecture I will explain you that how to solve this question this question is based on relativistic electrodynamics okay so uh, it is uh, quite easy to solve this question and it is quite important for CSIR net and gate so today we will we will see how it, we have to solve this question okay how we can tackle this type of questions okay so the question was the value of electric and magnetic field in a particular frame of reference are these okay an inertial observer moving with respect to this measures the magnitude of electric field to be okay this is the electric field which an observer uh, measures okay uh, the observer is moving is uh, moving okay the observer is moving with with some velocity and he it measures and he or she measures the electric field to be this much okay and uh, they are asking in the question what will be the magnitude of the magnetic field b prime measured by the observer okay so this is the scene which the question has shown us so i will show you the diagram okay where we can understand it so this is the first uh, this is the frame in which the value of electric and magnetic fields are e and b okay so there is another observer which is moving so we can attach a frame we can attach an inertial frame to that observer and we can now assume that this frame is moving okay so now what happens when the observer in this frame okay in the frame s prime measures the electric field he founds the electric field to be e prime and he founds the magnetic field to be b prime okay he already know the value of e prime but he don't know the value of b prime okay the value of e and b are also known okay the value of b prime is not known okay in the question they have asked us to calculate the value of b prime now s prime is moving with velocity v with respect to uh, s okay okay to solve this question you have to know an important concept okay so there is an important concept to solve this question you have to remember that concept the concept is that the quantity the quantity this quantity is constant in both the frames okay so it is very important for you to remember this again you can i am making it big you can see that this quantity is constant in both the frames okay we will take the advantage of this equation and we will find the value of b prime now it is important to note that in the question they have given us the gaussian units in the gaussian units the value of speed of light c equals to is always taken equals to one okay so that means that this quantity is now equals to constant okay in gaussian unit that is e square minus b square e is the magnitude of e vector electric field vector b is the magnitude of uh, b is the magnitude of magnetic field vector okay okay now since this quantity is constant okay so that means that either we are in the frame one or we are in the frame two the quantities should be constant okay so in this in this in this frame this should be constant and in this frame also this should be constant and this should be equal okay okay since they are constant okay now it was in the give question they have given the value of electric field in the frame as okay now we know that by the vector algebra that the magnitude of e can be calculated by this method okay okay so you we are now comparing the electric field with this okay and now we will just plug the values of e x e y and e z okay on plugging the value you get this equation and on solving you get it, it, this equals to 5 okay now in the question they have given the value of vector b the value of vector v vector v was this and in the similar fashion since it is the vector we can find the magnitude of b which is this and that gives us again the 3 okay now it is given in the question the value of electric field measured by the observer in the frame s prime okay so the magnitude is 4 okay it was given now putting the value on putting these values back in equation 1 okay so your equation 1 was this okay so this was your equation number 1 we will plug the values in this equation okay 
so i have plugged the values properly you can check it out okay and now i am further simplifying it i have further more simplified it okay now this is already positive so writing it as positive okay now on further solving we found that the value of b prime is zero and this is your answer okay friends friends please support my channel okay so please um, share with your friends uh, subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed and please like uh, the videos okay thank you very much i will be continuously uploading all the contents of cc csir net gate and all the and selected topics in the physics okay which the students find it difficult Okay friends thank you very much